Hi, I'm Car Major, and this is my top tip for communication. Communication while you're out on the board is really essential to keep you safe. Before you go out paddling, it's a good idea to let somebody know where you're gonna go, who you're with, and what time you're expected home. If those plans change, it's also really good to update the person you've told so that they don't start worrying about you if you're not back in time. Apps like Paddle Logger are really, really good for this. It's important to have a few forms of communication when you're out on the water. So I always suggest paddling with a mobile phone in a waterproof case and either a battery pack with it or make sure that it's fully charged. If you're paddling along um, the coast or in marinas, a VHF radio is a good option as well, but make sure that your radio is registered and that you have the appropriate training to use the VHF radio. It's good to have your forms of communication on your person, so in waterproof cases, either in your pockets or in your PFD. If you do need to call for help from your mobile phone, use the numbers 999 or 112 and ask for the Coast Guard. Remember, if you are calling for the emergency services, you need to let them know the people, the place and the problem. So who you're with, who's there, what, where you are and what the issue is. Other forms of communication are a whistle. So with this, you want to use continual blasts on your whistle to alert somebody that you're in danger. You can also kneel on your board and wave your arms in the air. Both arms in the air is a distress signal to call for help. It's also really important not to paddle on your own, especially if you're going out on the sea. Remember, groups of three or more are recommended. Less than three shouldn't be. It's also more fun to go and enjoy your experience with somebody else.